Hey everybody, we're here with Lori at the St. Francis house today and she's going to be my guest a reader of the motivational quote. Lori, thanks for being here. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for this opportunity, John. I'm real excited. Tell people a little bit about St. Francis House, what you guys have done. I know you're relatively new here, yes. uh, but tell folks about the St. Francis House, how they can help, that sort of thing. Absolutely. We started here in this location about seven years ago. We had been prior on 4th Avenue, a little mm -hmm. bit down the road, mm -hmm. and started out by just providing meals for people in the morning from like 9 o'clock until 12 o'clock. As we grew and moved into this building, we are now a shelter. Our shelter um, works with families and children. So our overall vision is to end homelessness. Mm -hmm. you know, our mission in terms of how we accomplish that mm -hmm. is making sure that we're working with families and children to get them permanently and stably housed. Mm -hmm. and give them the next steps to moving forward. I've known about St. Francis House for a long time. For those of watching the video that may not know about St. Francis House, how would they be able to help St. Francis House? What are the things that they could do to, to help, whether both financially and maybe volunteering? I know you said earlier, uh, volunteers are very appreciated here. And we are, and we actually have a lot of volunteers who come in. Um, we have daily, we get, because our community is very generous. I mean, they are generous mm -hmm. and it, we are very fortunate. We get bags of clothing, bags of blankets that come in. Well, we need to sort them. Mm -hmm. We need to go through them. We need to put them in an orderly manner. We had 85 students from UF here oh, yesterday. Wow. And I, I kept telling them, you have no idea how helpful this is because it is, there's so much more dignity than walking into a room where you go and you pick the clothing from the rack and it's labeled as opposed to, here's some bags of clothes, please right. dig through them. We don't want our guests to have to do that. We don't want our, our clients who come in during the day to have to do that. So sure. volunteers really help with that. We also get a large amount of donations of food. Again, it needs to be sorted. You know, it, it's, a, it's a pantry. So on an ongoing basis, we need to do the rotation. We need to make sure that the, you know, the earlier expiration dates are here and we're moving back. Mm -hmm. So there's those opportunities. There are opportunities to help with serving meals mm -hmm. and from the 9 to 12. Um, folks are also encouraged to bring in a meal and serve our shelter guests. Our shelter guests are the folks who are actually housed here mm -hmm. while they are looking to become permanently housed. Mm -hmm. Our day services, our day clients are the folks who come in and are here just for the meals. Mm -hmm. We have meals for from between like 9 to 12 for anybody who wants to come in and then for our families who are here in the in the evenings. Mm -hmm. And so we've had lots of church group groups have come. I know that your colleague here has often, his family has come mm -hmm. and they bring in food and they serve the clients and the residents and they sit with them and they talk to them mm -hmm. and kind of see what's going on. So there's always volunteer opportunities with that. Um, we are always looking for donations. I started to tell you that we're looking at a roof. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to replace the roof and, the, and they're pretty high bids. Yeah. You know, so we're going to need some support from the community to help us make that happen. Sure. If we get that um, renovated, we'll actually be able to open up another room here in the shelter that we could put another family in. Hmm. So it's very exciting to see us be able to move forward with that. Um, and expertise. You know, I, we all know that we don't all know everything. Yeah. You know, sure. and so we are open to hearing from the community um, what their ideas are about, wait, have you thought about this? Mm -hmm. uh, somebody threw out the idea about us doing the future. Oh. Yeah, I mean, the internet, it's like, I don't, I don't know if it's going to go anywhere right. or we're going to consider it, but it's an idea, it's an idea mm -hmm. you know, of how we could really get food out to maybe more people. Sure. You know, need, so They need help. Yeah. Yeah. I know that my staff at Dar Shackow has, has come here and served food many times. And, and thank you to those of my team that have come here and, and served food and every Every time they come and, and do it, they, they just get so much out of it. They, they're so humbled and, and thankful for what they have because, you know, we're very blessed. We're very yes, lucky, we and, and, and but not everybody is like that. Not everybody's been lucky enough to, to have some of the things that we have. And, you know, you come to a place like this and, and you know, some of the kids that have come in and, and served, it's been very powerful to even the children. Yes. You know, I, I've, heard, I've heard many parents say, you know, when my kid thinks that they have too much and they get a little sassy, that part of it, they, uh, 
uh, they bring them here and they serve food yes. to folks and they go, hey. To see how blessed they are. Right. And, and now you see how blessed they are. So I have had volunteers literally hug me. Oh, I'm sure. And say, thank you so much for allowing me to be here. Yeah. You know, I'm I, sure. it just gives people a lot of self satisfaction. I'm sure. You know, that I'm giving back. Yeah. I know that I, I have more. Yeah. What can I do? And yeah. time is valuable. Really. You know, sometimes just sitting down and having a meal with somebody and putting a face. Yeah. On what homelessness looks like. Yeah. Like this is what Powerful. It, this is what it looks like. Yeah. You know, it looks like the mom with her three kids. Yeah. You know, it looks like the dad with his two boys. Yeah. That's what homelessness looks like. Yeah. It has a lot of different faces, but there's a face. Yeah. There's a real person in there. Yeah, it's real. And it means a lot yeah. to our, our resident, excuse me, our guest as well as our day clients mm -hmm. that people see them as the Eskimo say, I see you. Right, right. It means a lot to them, yeah. And and the person doing it. Absolutely. This. So Lori's been kind enough to read a motivational quote, and I, we have one here. So Lori, would you, will you do the honor and read the motivational you, quote? So much. Those with a grateful mindset tend to see the message in the mess. And even though life may knock them down, the grateful find reasons, if even small ones, to get up. Steve Maraboli. Thank you so much. Thanks for- Thank for, you, friend. For, <laughs> for participating my own, my own. and- Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll leave some of the information down below on the St. Francis House. And if you'd be willing to help, they, they can use any of the help that, uh, that you're willing to give. So just click below and uh, thanks and take care.